Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it is actually not a makeup tutorial. It is all about the hair. So I always have questions on how do I curl my hair? What wand do I use? Do I use any special products? What hairspray? I mean, the list goes on. So for this video, I just wanted to dedicate it to those people that I are always asking and just kind of give you guys my tips and tricks on how I curl the hair. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I create my curly hair, then just please keep on watching. So to start off, um, and I'm sorry, my dog I think is in the background. Gizmo, come say hi. This is Gizmo. He's my little fluff ball. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's get back to the video here. So to start off, I do like taking some of this Garnier Sleek and Shine Serum. It looks like this. It's just anti-frizz. And what I do is I only put it at the ends of my hair. So just giving it a little bit of smoothing so that it does not look super frizzy. And then whatever is left on the palms of my hands, I just like to rub my hands together and then just with my fingers, just kind of like press it down on the roots. Um, I don't want my hair to be super greasy. Like I said, this product just helps um, with the frizz. The next product that I'm gonna be using is this Dove volume and fullness dry shampoo and it looks like this it smells amazing and I don't know I just really like it I've used different dry shampoos in the past and I find that this one is the only one that I really like it doesn't leave that white residue on my hair and I don't know it really does feel clean after going on day three of dirty hair so the purpose of the dry shampoo is not that my hair is dirty because I literally showered yesterday um, but for this look, I do like that dry shampoo adds a little bit of volume and texture onto the hair. So with this, I just like to spray lightly on the roots and then just kind of rub it in. And then just do that throughout your head to cover the root area. This will help um, with curling the hair as well. Some people's um, hair does not curl, and I don't know, I think it's maybe because it's just too straight and flat in the top. So by doing this, I feel it helps, at least me it does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this product along my hair. And it also makes your hair smell really good. Like you legit smell like you just showered. So after we have sexed up our hair with some dry shampoo. We're gonna go ahead and brush it out gently. I like being gentle on my hair because, girl, you don't wanna go bald. <laughs> so just brush it out. And I don't part my hair like straight off the bat just because my curls tend to be fluffy and beachy and just super effortless. At least that's the look that I try to go for. So if you part your hair and make it look super perfect, Ooh, I don't know, I just don't really like that look. So I just like keeping it as is, and then if I do decide to part it, it'll be after I've curled my hair, and you'll see it gives it like a completely different voluminous look. Okay, so I do section off my hair, so I go in with just a scrunchie or a pony, and I just like to take half of my hair up, And when you're curling your hair, you, I don't know, I don't like to take too much time on it. I want it to be as quick as possible. And I find that even if you're going super fast um, at the end, you can just brush it out, throw some hairspray in there, and kind of give it a little scrunch. And it actually looks a lot better than if you invest time in your hair. So in the mornings or when you're getting ready to go out and you do not want to spend a lot of time on your hair, just make sure that you just kind of are a little careless with it. Start off, I'm gonna be taking my Hot Tools one inch curler. It looks like this. I got mine on Amazon, but I know that you can find it at like CVS and Walgreens. And I think it was like 20 or $24, I don't remember, but they're super cheap. And for me, these have worked a lot better than my wands. Um, I've had some wands that I've paid like 50 or $60 for, and I don't know what happened, but I went and plugged it in and it just 
stop working it does not get hot at all so it was kind of a bummer you know you spend a lot of money on these wands trying to get these perfect curls and then you find these cheapy ones that do the trick for you so anyways I prefer using a curling iron for it so what I start to do is my technique is really kind of doing whatever so at first like I'll go in and wrap it around like I would with a wand and then I leave it on there for like 10 seconds and then I pull up this little like thing up here the clamp and then I clamp the hair right underneath it and then you don't have to hold on to it but I still tend to do it just out of habit so yeah we're gonna go ahead and keep this on for like eight to ten seconds You're gonna have a curl that's gonna be tight like this. I tend to brush it out and do everything else afterwards, so I would just not even worry about it at this moment. Then I'm gonna be taking another section of hair, just try to make it like a one inch piece. And then this one, I'm gonna flip it towards me. So I'm just gonna create curls going away from my face and to my face. So this one is towards my face. And same thing, just 10 seconds. And we're gonna be creating the same step all throughout your hair. I have like medium thickness of hair and it's kind of long but not super long. So obviously if you have thicker and longer hair, it might take you a little bit more than eight to 10 seconds. You might actually wanna count to 20 girl because if not, your curl is not gonna hold, so. Just make sure that you're curling enough where it gives you a tight curl, but not too much where like you can't brush it out and make it into a wavy curl. And then same thing with this one. I'm gonna curl this one towards my face. So once we have curled our hair, and I, you can't really see it because I'm wearing a black shirt, so that was my bad. But I will be showing you guys pictures afterwards so you guys can see. But once it looks something like this, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some hairspray. This is the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. It looks like this. It retails for like, I wanna say like six bucks, I think. I got this one at Target. But it is my favorite, favorite, favorite hairspray because it actually holds a curl. So I go in and curl it. We are gonna go ahead and brush these out towards the end. So this is just to ensure that we don't lose our curl in the moment that we're curling the rest of our hair. And then we're gonna repeat the same steps on this side. So I'm gonna speed this up and I will meet you guys when we're closer to the crown of our head. What are you doing? any of these pieces in the back I like to start from the back and work my way forward because nothing more embarrassing than walking around with like pieces of your hair in the back that are not curled <laughs> so go ahead and start from the back and then work your way towards the front and then this piece I'm gonna since it's gonna be facing the back I'm gonna make it face away from my face Make sure you brush it down too because you don't want to have a whole bunch of little flyaways that are just kind of popping up back here. That's not cute. So you want to be spraying and rubbing them downwards but still kind of giving them a lift if that makes sense. Make sure you alternate. Um, you want some going backwards and some going forward but the closer you get to the front of your face or to your face, you want to curl away. So try and do the ones that are going to come towards the face in the center areas 
when you're curling. My camera did go ahead and shut off um, in the middle of me doing this side. I stopped so that you guys could still get the full effect of this video. Um, and I did also go ahead and um, just put a tank top on, that way you guys can see the curls a little bit better than on the black shirt. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish out the hair. So for this section of hair right here, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna go ahead and actually use the clamp. I don't know why, but I've always done this. I really like how it ends up looking instead of like twisting it around the barrel. I like to just actually use the clamp. And I don't know, it just gives me a really nice, more natural look to my hair. So I'm gonna do that. And then this last like two or three inches of your hair, just kind of like run it through, but you can let it go. And it, you should come out with something like this. Taking a brush, I'm just gonna lightly brush out the ends. And then taking a comb like this one with an end to it, you wanna go ahead and just kind of give a little tease at the crown um, from each piece of hair, just to give it a little volume so that it just doesn't fall flat and then goes super poofy at the end. And then here you just wanna tease it upwards, just very gently on your hair, you don't wanna damage it. So then you just kind of run your fingers down it to make sure that it's not looking all crazy. And then do the bottoms as well, so like this. And then same thing with this side. And then bring it back down, brush it down with your hands. You might need to go in with the comb in some areas or with your brush, whatever. Whatever your little heart desires. And then at the ends over here, we're gonna like give it a little bit of a zhuzh so that it is nice and full. Now we can go in with some hairspray to hold what we just did in place. Spray your hand, do what you need to do. Make sure you get those ends too because you don't want them to look all nasty. But yeah, you guys. Your hair should look something like this. This is how I curl my hair. It's super easy. If I wasn't filming, I could literally do this in like 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most. I hope you guys try this out and I hope you guys love it. My hair is kind of long, so it does make it fun to curl my hair. But even if you have short hair, you can still curl your hair and make it look super cute. But yeah, if you guys want to see more hair tutorials, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.